Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Joining us right now in the studio is Eric Dillon, Senior Vice President with Commonwealth Credit Union based in Lloydminster. And you're here to tell us about a competition that you've got going on right now. Yeah, we are. We've, uh, we've launched what we call Young and Free, Rob, which is really allowing young people to come and tell us what they want from their financial institution and helping us define how to deliver service to a really important group of people. Okay, it's tied in with a service that you're already offering though, right? Actually, we've changed a whole bunch of our services to target that 17 to 25 year old age group where okay. we've offered free banking and, and a bunch of other interesting things for them as they're starting to go out into the real world, learn things about life and mm -hmm. how to how to bank and how to get their first job and how to get a mortgage and all those things. We've designed the service around that and our spokesperson search is really to allow us to better connect with that group of people. Okay, so tell us about the search. How did it come about? Why did you think this would be a good idea as opposed to just trying to hire somebody but to, to take this sort of American Idol, you know, type search approach? Yeah. The, the, the objective for us was really to connect with this group of people and to ask them what they want from their bank. And so we thought the best way was to, to hire somebody and get them to go out and, and solicit that feedback from, from their peers and then come and say, if you want to deliver service to our, to our demographic and our group of people, here's the kinds of things you're going to have to do. And we thought we need them to tell us rather than suppose all those things ourselves. Okay, which is kind of a novel approach in many industries. You know what I mean? You like to it think is. that people are targeting because they know what's right. Sometimes they don't always ask what would work out right. properly. So what's happened with this competition then? How long has it been going on and where are we at right now? Well, we, we originally asked for kids across Northern Alberta to submit their, uh, their applications on YouTube and mm -hmm. submit a video about why they thought they'd be a great spokesperson. We've narrowed it down to three and I think those kids are here to talk to you today. Right. And then uh, we we're asking young people to vote and tell us which one of those people best represents them as a group and is going to be able to interact with them and tell us, again, mm -hmm. what we need to do for that group right. of people. What did you think of the quality of candidates that stepped up for We're this? We're incredibly impressed. And, and, and of course, you've seen the clips yourself. And, and those three young people are, in my opinion, a great indication of the type of people that are in that group. I mean, they're very sophisticated, very advanced a lot more than you and I were when we were young, mm -hmm. and, and we're just thrilled to death with all three of them. So what do they have to do then, once the winner is picked, which is at the end of this weekend is when the voting stops, right? Correct, yeah. And so after that, you've picked the winner, what will they be doing? They'll actually become an employee of the company, mm -hmm. and so the objective is to drive around the places in northern Alberta where we have branches, including Edmonton, and talk to young people, and then bring that feedback back to our board of directors and our leadership team and say, this is what young people want from their bank, and I'm going to go out and do more of this and tell you more about what they want, and then the, the, the part for us is we're going to listen. We're going to do what they say to deliver to that group of people. And so for us to take a step to say we're going to ask is not enough. It's to say we're going to ask and we're going to be committed to doing what they think is important for that group of people. Right. So then the, the successful applicant then will also be taking your views to the, the to their peers as well, right? Sure. And they'll and be going they'll out be doing and, both. and suggesting this is this is what Commonwealth can do for you. Your, uh, your company is mainly rural based. Correct. Do you find, like, how did that affect the people applying for it or the people you're going to try and reach with this? It, it didn't affect it at all, actually. We, two of the applicants we have are from Edmonton, where we, where we do have some branches. And then we have some applicants, one applicant from rural Alberta. And, but I don't think their views are drastically different. I think young people want the same things in northern Alberta. And I think these three are reflective of, of those views. Right. Of course, rural communities are not as separate from urban ones now as they might have been at one time, right? No, and you can see young kids, how they're interacting with each other. And if you go on YouTube and Facebook and all these things, I mean, kids are talking to each other at great distances that never happened before. And, and if you look at the way this has flourished, right. that's what's gone on. And that's what's been very impressive for us is how these kids are connecting on a, on a really high level and talking about serious issues. Right. Well, when we come back a little bit later at 6.50, we're going to be meeting the three final candidates for the position with your company. Thanks very you much bet. for telling us what yeah. it's all about. Appreciate it, Rob. We're going to put some uh, information up on the screen here in case you'd like to find out more about the bank itself. It's commonwealthcu.net. You can check that out. And youngfreealberta.com is uh, the site where you can find out all about the candidates, but you'll be able to find out more about them in just a